there hasn't been any any critical that I've seen reporting on the vice president of the United States. I mean, creating a panic because she was saying that Hurricane Ian relief should be based on equity racial, and, and, and that it should be apparently race, racially distributed because equity is, requires equity and equality are, are at odds with each other. Equality abhors discrimination. Equality is about making sure that everyone has the same opportunities and the results may differ. Equity focuses more on equal results, meaning sometimes you, well, and most of the time, you have to actually incorporate discrimination in order to achieve absolute equal results. Free will and personal choice is disregarded as factors that affect the outcome. It is an illiberal communist notion. And the vice president of the United States actually sat on stage and was broadcast by C-SPAN as saying, well, this, this is audio soundbite one. And so we have to address this in a way that is about giving resources based on equity, understanding that we, we fight for equality, but we also need to fight for equity, understanding not everyone starts out at the same place. And if we want people to be in an equal place, sometimes we have to take into account those disparities mm. um, and, and do that work. Well, FEMA doesn't agree with her. The head of the Federal Emergency Management Agency said that the administration will, quote, support all communities. That was their response to Kamala Harris's. It was just a dreadful, horrible response or her remark. So FEMA said, no, 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 we are going to... We are going to support all communities. Deanne Criswell, she was asked about those, about those, the president's comments. And she said, no, every, she said, quote, I committed that to the governor. I commit to you right here that all Floridians are going to be able to get the help that is available to them through our programs. And Steve, I dropped that audio if you want to play that. She said that it, uh, and, and the way, I mean, really, ultimately, you got the sense that her, her, she wanted to say that her response was just not helpful. You, you really got the sense of that. This is the, uh, let's play this. This is FEMA director in response to those comments from the VP. The governor's spokesperson said that comments are causing undue panic and must be clarified. You're here. I'd like you to clarify them because Senator Scott called on FEMA to be colorblind, really insinuating you're not. Yeah, look, Margaret, I was on the ground. I was on the ground Friday and Saturday. I was uh, assessing the damage personally and talking to survivors. There are a lot of people that are going to need assistance as a result of this. And one of the things that uh, I have known and I have experienced responding to other disasters, that there are people that often have a hard time accessing our programs. There's barriers to our program. And one of our focus areas um, since I've been in office is to make sure that we're removing those barriers. So these people that need our help the most are going to be able to access the help that, that we offer. So she's saying, no, everyone's going to be helped. I honestly, the VP really needs to respond and apologize for that remark. Here you have an instance of someone trying to increase further division where you don't need to do that. Why would you, at, at, at a time of a hurricane, I just cannot think of anything more classless. As I said earlier, she's just an, this is just an embarrassment to say something like this. And then when she was asked about it by the press, oh, they didn't want to have any, she didn't want to have anything to do with it. She ran away. She ran away. So it's all about, I mean, that's just, it, it's, it, it's the politization to natural disaster response.